नमः शिवाय स्टूडेंट्स स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू चैप्टर फोर मोर ऑन एच टी एम एल इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑब्जेक्टिव क्वेश्चन एंड क्वेश्चन आंसर सो लेट एस बिगिन सी द फर्स्ट आई एम डिस्कसिंग मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन दिस आई हैव टेकन फ्रॉम योर बुक नंबर वन सर्वर स्टोर्स फाइल्स एंड इंफॉर्मेशन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ वेबसाइट put a tick mark over here what is an website before i continue to the other question let me tell you what is an website website is what website contains a file and information okay server stores all the file and information in the form of website there is a computer server which stores a lot many informations and files in it but how they are displayed to the user if any user want to access any information or any file any audio any video whatever they want to access how they can access they can take it from the website okay so the server what is the computer server is doing they are storing computer server is storing all the files and information in the form of a website okay and through this website we are getting the information next a dash is an html command that controls the structure and appearance of the page that is created tag put a tick mark over here tag is very important using this tag only uh, the, using this tag command there are different tags are there using this tag uh, we uh, we can control the structure and appearance of the page and dash tags does not require closing tags empty okay an empty tag does not require closing tag in a empty tag there is only one opening tag is there no closing tag is there whereas in a non empty tag what is happening there is closing as well as opening tag is also there okay next exercise section a i am discussing number a quiz number 1 what is the full form of html hypertext markup language name the two types of html tags non empty tag and empty tag number b b number 1 website contains different pages called web pages the pages that you get in the websites are known as the web pages okay so put a tick mark over here every html document consists of tags put a tick mark the tags are always enclosed within a pair of angular bracket not curly not square within a pair of angular bracket put a tick mark br is an empty tag it does not have any closing tag it have only opening tag so it is an empty tag put a tick mark an html document is saved with an extension dot html put a tick mark over here now fill in the blanks internet is a network of computer networks individual computers are connected to some powerful computers called servers dash is used to give heading of the web page head tag a dash creates and maintain the layout of the website web developer a web developer is a programmer who creates this website and also maintain the layout of the website okay now let us discuss the answer the following question define website and web page Websites are files and servers that can be accessed by user from anywhere in the world. Just now I told you, right? All the files and informations are stored in server. But how they are st stored in the server in the form of a website. Any user can access this information through the website from anywhere in the world. Website contain different pages called web pages. What are attributes? some tags have special attributes which gives option to format the text contain okay there are different attributes are there for different tags so now how these attributes are written attributes are written within the angular brackets with its corresponding tag one after another with the space in between each of them see over here i have given an example font tag this is font tag okay over here you can see size and color size and color here size is given 5 and color is equal to red that means font size is 5 and font color is red but what is the size and color size and color is the attribute of which tag that is a font tag 5 and red is the value of this attribute 
Number three, which are the reserved symbols in HTML? Greater than, less than, double straight quote and ampersand. Differentiate between empty and non-empty tags. Just now I have discussed what is an empty tag. An empty tag does not require a closing tag. Non-empty tag require an opening tag and closing tag. Example, see, this two tag does not require a closing tag. They are just an opening tag and these two tags are known as empty tag. And whereas this one, you can see this is a non-empty tag. Here the starting tag is there and here is the closing tag. In between these two tags, we have to write the text. Explain the structure of an HTML document. See, this is the four important part of the HTML document. First part is the HTML starting and the ending tag. What does this work? What is the work of this HTML tag? It indicates the document has been written in HTML. If you don't give this HTML starting and ending tag, then you cannot write anything, any HTML document. When you are writing in the beginning this starting tag, HTML starting tag, it indicates that you are writing the documents in HTML. Okay. And this tag indicates the end of the HTML document. Then title tag. What is the use of this tag? It is used to give a title to the HTML document and this tag indicates the end of the title. Head tag is used to give the heading of the web page. Okay, heading of the web page. And ending head tag is used to end the heading. Body tag contains the body of the web page. Body of the web page means the content that you are seeing in the web page. Right? If you are finding any information, any information you are gathering from the web page. Right? So, what is the content that you are getting? Whatever content that you are getting in the web page, that is the body. Okay? That is how it is written, how it is created. It is created by writing in the writing within a body tag. Okay? It is the area where most of the work is done. And this also have a closing tag. This indicate the end of the body. The content between body and the backslash body tags are displayed in the browser. Number six. How is an HTML document viewed in a web browser? We have learned how to save it, right? When we will be saving it, we have to give an extension .html. And now how will you view that HTML document? To view, you have to open any one of the browser either Internet Explorer or the Mozilla Firefox. Okay, any one of the web browser. So now, if you are opening the Internet e Explorer, how you will be uh, viewing the HTML document in the Internet Explorer? You have to click the File menu, Open option then, see, File, Open, then this Open dialog box appear. Now step 2 is click on this Browse button to choose a file. This will open up, this screen will open up, select the location from here and choose the HTML file and then click on op open button. When you click on open button, this will appear, click on the OK button. When you click on the open button, whatever HTML or document you have written, it will appear as a web page in Internet Explorer. Okay. Next, what is nesting tags? When we use tags within some other tags, then it is called nesting of tag. That means using a tag in the another within the some other tags. Like over here, you can see head tag. This is the starting and this is the ending. In between these two, in between this tag, I have used another tag, see title tag. Right? So I can see title tag is used in between the head tag. So, and this is the content that is learning HTML. This is the content that I have written. But I can see this tag, title tag is used in the head tag. So, this is called nesting of tag. When two tag is used together, this is called a nesting. What is HTML? HTML is a hypertext markup language that is used to create web page or document on World Wide Web. What is used to compose HTML document or it can be asked name the software to compose HTML so document. You have to give the name as text editor, text editor like notepad. Okay. So when you are using the text editor like notepad, then only you can compose the HTML document. Text editor here means the notepad that we have used. Okay. Notepad is a 
text editor. So text editor are used to compose HTML document. So student, this is the end of the video. With this video, I have completed the chapter 4. Please go through it and complete the question answer. In the next video, we are going to continue with more HTML commands. Okay. So this is the end of the video. Thank you. Namaskar.